High fly ball to right down the line. That chases Chisenhall in the corner. And that ball is gone. It carries out of here. Opposite field, two-run home run. And just like that, the Orioles have a 6-3 lead. Well, the big fly, and that's what uh, Mark Trumbull can do. Already been on base now three times with a home run, a single, and a walk. But he just guided down the right field line, and when you're that big and you're that strong, Mickey Callaway coming out. Well, let's get a look at our Lexus of Townsend drive of the game. That ball hit high and deep. Dyson goes back at the track. He looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes. It's 5 1. Well, with Avi's base hit, it broke the spell. And after the base hit, a single by Navarro, a single by Jackson, a grand slam by Melky, and back to back home runs as Todd Frazier with his 15th and his 35th. And that apparently is going to be it. Tomorrow. Josh Donaldson drives one deep to right center. Get up, Bob. Get up and die. You know, it was Josh Donaldson who delivered the decisive blow the last time these two met. Joe Kelly and Josh Donaldson hit a first pitch slider for a grand slam home run that knocked out Kelly in that game back on April the 8th. He doesn't waste any time again tonight. Swing and a drive to right. Deep to right field. Bats at the track. At the wall. Home run, Josh Donaldson. You have to keep scoring runs. And who better than Josh Donaldson? What a night for the MVP. Ball is hit well to right field. Going back is Geyer near the wall. And this one is gone. A home run for Carlos Beltran. And it's now 4 0 Yankees. Had just got into the seats. For Beltran, his 11th home run of the year. And now even more of a, a cushion for Masanero Tanaka. Well, for his pitch, see if he gets a mistake. And he sends it into deep left. And it is gone! That'll work. Wow. That was a venti. I don't know if it was as venti as Solaris, but it was a big one. And again, the teams try to pitch him in. Uh, beware, he is awfully quick in there. This did not appear to be a real bad pitch. Inside corner, perhaps even off the plate based on that angle. But how about the ability to pull the hands in and get the barrel to that one? That one might have landed on Waveland. It did. I think a big, high bounce. There yeah. you see it. Driven in the air to center field for Kent. Back goes Owings to the warning track at the wall. That ball is gone. Home run for Matt Kemp to straightaway center his 11th of the year. And the Padres take a 3 0 lead. Now, Matt Kemp, his second end of the night. And this one out of the yard to center field. Well, do you see maybe a trend for Matt Kemp? Because. In the air, oh, well hit baby. to left field, and the Reds have a 3-0 lead. How about that? Two pitches, two outs to start the inning. Infield hit, double, three-run bomb. I told you, Mr. Welsh, we're putting an end to this. 
this losing streak business here tonight. Well, you're up to show. That's out toward left center field. Hit well. Rasmus going back and at the wall. Good! Big fly for Albert Pujols. Six nothing Angels. Five hundred and seventieth of Albert's career, snapping that tie with Rafi Palmero. Another high fastball. This time he brought his hands up, got the barrel of the bat on it, and hits out his fifty-first career home. Starting rotation to start the season, but Gene Lamont saying before the game it was just a matter of the next man up. In the meantime, Nick Castellanos has gone deep over the seats in left field, and the Tigers have another run. The home run by Castellanos makes it three to nothing, and he hit that ball a ton. That's his tenth of the year. Continue to strike quick. I mean, the game's just going along. First pitch, boom. And uh, Nick's been doing this all year. And if you say this is this is launch, this is not a line drive. This is not a normal fly ball. <laughs> McCutcheon hits it hard the other way toward the wall, and it is gone. Opposite field for McCutcheon. Number nine, seven, nothing, Buckos. So Andrew quickly becomes part of the party with a single before, and now one just tucked inside that right field foul point. Well, yep. who knows if that breeze held it and kept it fair. Doesn't matter now. It's a home run. Pirates add on. Wonderful. And Granderson hits it in the air. Down the right field line. Toward the corner. Queen near the pole. And it's out of here. Curtis Granderson wins it. With a home run in the bottom of the line. He didn't win it in one swing, he won it in two swings. <laughs> around and just a skinny kid. And well, there we got Eric Hosmer going to the wall, and that is gone. So a little bit of action here, and maybe we can get Brett Eibner in on the action in a little bit. But guys, he came up in the minor leagues with Eric Hosmer, and so some guys that know each other very well. And it's a sonic slamming. So Cleet Corson, Kansas City, Missouri, has just won $500. Oh, high blast to oh, deep my. left center field. We can forget about that one. Gone. Oh. Home run, and the game is tied. Home run number nine for Miguel Sano. As I said, there's a different sound and velocity. The ball coming off his bat, and, and that was a. Even from uh, up here where we sit, that was an old mark. Gotcha. And you're, you're, you can talk about situations. And... Uh oh. Napoli drives one to deep left field. It is gone. Souvenir City. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, a little more gusto. <laughs> Mike Napoli with his ninth home run of the year. And it pulls the Indians to within a run. Did you guys have this worked out for me or what? He's been waiting for years to do that. <laughs> All right. That's beautiful. Make it a one. Oh, for two, a fly out and a ground down. He pounds one. Deep to left field. Herbalinda, you are a couple of hundred dollars richer. Adrian Beltre with his eighth home run of the year. It is seven to one. Mace is pitching a very nice game today. Giving up scattered some singles and the one double. Mentioned he'd given up 11 home runs this year. And Adrian got a good pitch and took advantage of it. He's moved the ball in and out today. Jammed a lot of right hand hitters. Utility. And Drury drives this one deep to left field and gone. A jumbo jack from Brandon Drury. That's his eighth, and the Diamondbacks are on the board. Sorry. 
back, and that one is out of here. Steve Pierce on the tenth pitch of the at bat gets the Rays on the board with his eighth home run of the year, and it's four to one. Battle, battle, battle. Nobody wants to be the last out of a ball game. Nobody wants to be the last out of a shutout. David hits one well to center field. Peterson back to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. David Wright homers for a third straight game. Seventh home run of the year for Wright, and the Mets late at four to one. Boy, oh boy. That's like an old time David Wright, right center field home run. Yes, it is. Off a hard thrower, too, which is promising that he got around. Peters predicted they would be in the hunt as Gregory Polanco lifts one to right field toward the wall and gone. Gregory Polanco. Looks like he kind of one handed that into the seats and right for the two run homer, his seventh. Nine one bucks. Some people are happy about that home run. And that's some frosting on the cake. And again, it looked like it might have been down and away. And he has that kind of reach that can turn those kind of pitches around. Pull them. Four home runs for the Pirates. Seventh of the knocked around by the Dodgers. It was previous start. Jake Lamb sends one out of here. Over the pool. A solo homer for Jake Lamb. That's number seven. <laughs> How bad do you want the ball? Bad enough, I guess. Wow, that ball is crushed. And Brian Price was talking about him before the game. As this one is gone. That ball just kept carrying and carrying and carrying, and uh, Votto, on the first pitch of the inning, shoots one to left center, his seventh home run of the year. I think that may be the one once they close that room. Lucroy deep to left field, and there she goes, a home run for Jonathan Lucroy. Brewers are within a run. Well, two RBIs for Lucroy. He just missed one his last time up. All right, talk about squaring it up that time. That was way back and left. Chung Ho Gung hits the ball well the other way. D to right field and clear the deck. Cannonball coming for Chung Ho Gung. Oppo three for Gung, six for Pittsburgh. And that's what you call breaking it open. That's what you call breaking it open. They made a mistake. Should have been two outs, nobody on. And the gates opened up. And here come the Bucks. Jung Ho Gung hits his sixth. An opposite field home run. 